Hello, I'm Joseph Magen, reporting for All Israel News from Davos, Switzerland. Come with me as we walk down the promenade in the de facto exhibition hall of the World Economic Forum. So we want to see how the forum is impacting Israel, who from Israel is here, who's on the steering committees, who's on the powerful committees making the decisions, and is Israel going to be a follower in these initiatives, or is Israel going to be a leader in these initiatives? Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, counts Shimon Peres as one of his mentors. Shimon Peres is a politician from the founding of the State of Israel in 1948, became the Prime Minister of Israel, and served as the president of Israel. BlackRock is a major investment house that recently opened up a branch in Tel Aviv, and they manage upwards of $10 trillion of wealth around the world. DP World, the largest logistics company from the UAE. Another major theme of the WEF, the World Economic Forum, is sustainability. And here we have the India Sustainability Lounge. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, is here on the streets of Davos. Interestingly enough, Twitter, I have not found yet here. Uber has taken over a storefront here in Davos. And part of the trends is that there will be automated driving fleets. And so the number of Uber drivers in the future may be drastically decreased. In addition to the exhibition booths that have taken over storefronts, there's also regular restaurants, but there's a special twist. They have special menus just for the WEF, the World Economic Forum 23, with special prices. You can guess if the prices are higher or lower. Soup? Um, no. Soup. Um, normally it's filled with saffron cream. War in Ukraine is a major topic in the World Economic Forum this year, 2023. And behind me is the entry for the annual meeting, which is by invitation only, so we cannot take you there. But this is where the annual meeting is taking place. So in contrast to the invitation only annual meeting, this is the open forum that's open to the public. And surprisingly, the open forum is much less attended than I anticipated. It's actually quite small and there's very few people. Hi everybody. Uh, today we're here for one hour, okay? So relax, close your phone, actually go on airplane mode. So here we just completed a session in the open forum. So the open forum is open to the public, unlike the annual meeting, which is by invitation only. And we just finished a session about Nature Heals, which they discussed, uh, among other things, eco-anxiety, climate anxiety. Uh, we learned that exercise is a good thing, that excessive screen time is not such a good thing. In addition to the theme of climate, there's also the concept that plants and animals are living beings and have equal rights to those of humans. So the Daily Wire is here in Davos, Michael Knowles. Michael, why are you here? I'm here because there's a group of people, 2,700 bigwigs from 130 countries, 116 billionaires and 52 heads of state. And they're all meeting up in a relatively inaccessible Swiss Alpine town to discuss the future of the world and how they're going to change the way that we live. And I thought, I think I'd like to be there and hear what they have planned for us. The personal impression I've had here of listening to the sessions, talking with people, is that this really is an ideology. It's more than just trying to do good to the world. It's an ideology bordering on religion. Okay, so we have reached the end of the promenade here in Davos of the World Economic Forum where big tech, big business, and countries have taken over storefronts. So from big tech, those that did not have an exhibition storefront here in Davos were Google, Apple, Microsoft, but I'm sure they had representatives here. From countries, we saw Indonesia, Malaysia, Poland, India. Surprisingly, we didn't see Canada here, although I'm sure that Canada has representatives here. I have personally not seen any demonstrations opposing the WEF. The only thing I've seen is these signs behind me that say stop WEF and wow, this is what corruption looks like. So we're gonna to continue to track the initiatives of the World Economic Forum on All Israel News. So keep tracking with us. I'm Joseph McGann from All Israel News.